Hey everybody, it's Angie from Trips with Angie and I am here in the Regal Princess in my mini suite because I want to share with you my favorite things about sailing on Princess Cruise Line. If you're a subscriber here at Trips with Angie, you know I sail all different kinds of cruises because I think each cruise line brings a little special something to the table. And I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already because we're kicking off a series all about Princess Cruise Line and particularly the Regal Princess. So a ship tour is coming and more information about all the amenities here on board. But first, my favorite things about Princess. The number one thing I always think about as we head into a Princess cruise is the bands. We have had the best party bands on Princess than we have had on any other ship at sea. And this sailing was no exception. So Project 5 was a group that did incredible fun dance parties, Caribbean jams. They even had their own set in the theater last night where the lead singer Katie Ann did an incredible tribute to Whitney Houston. The Sunset Quartet was also keeping the Piazza level lively with their more contemporary songs. So just absolutely hit it out of the park. Another favorite that happens in the Piazza is the Champagne Waterfall. So here's how it starts with just trays and trays of champagne glasses and they painstakingly pile them into a pyramid. They roll out a set of stairs where one of the officers helps drop champagne over the top while guests get to take pictures. I think I'm just realizing most of my favorite things are in the Piazza. The bands, the Champagne Fountain, the International Cafe. So this is the coffee shop on Princess Ship, so where you can get your specialty coffees. It's usually included. Most people book under a promotion where they get the drinks package included. But what really sets it apart from other cruise lines is the food. They have an incredible offering all throughout the day of great breakfast items. They even have hot items. I love their little pot pies, especially the cheeseburger pot pie. They have an incredible roast beef sandwich that comes around once a week. But the turkey sandwich is also really good. They have egg sandwiches, kind of like an egg McMuffin in the morning. It's the most diverse and vast offerings we've seen at a coffee shop on any of the cruise lines. And it just makes for a lovely day. You can really set up in the Piazza all day. They host games there. There's live music there. You have a bar you have the coffee, you have your snack. So it is really, really wonderful. And the other part of the Piazza I love, so again, I'm just a big Piazza fan, is Vine's Wine Bar. So this is going to be the most extensive wine list you can find on the Princess Strip. And then in the evenings, if you order a glass of wine, you get tapas. So you get this little tray of four different kinds of tapas to try, you know, because it's hard to find food on a cruise ship. But still, I think it's a nice touch. It makes it for a lovely place for a pre-dinner drink. Continuing on the food thing, I think Princess has the best pizza at sea. It's thin crust, slightly chewy, nice crisp bottom, a good amount of cheese, a light on sauce. The sauce is a good mix of sweet and savory, but not too sweet. And it's made fresh right in front of you. You can see them rolling out the dough. What, what do you think? Have you had Princess Pizza? Or have you had other cruise lines pizzas you think are better? I want to know about it in the comments. Another food item I always look forward to on Princess is their fettuccine Alfredo. Now, I was really disappointed on this cruise that they took it off of the everyday menu, but they still had it on Italian night, so I was able to get my fix. Now, this one is only to the Royal Class ships, and that is the Ravioli or Aglunati at Alfredo. So Alfredo's is an included Italian restaurant that's open from 11 a.m. to late in the evening every day. It's totally included, and they have this great bubbly, cheesy ravioli type dish that I die for. I actually, I can only have it once a cruise because it's so good. I can eat it every day. And another great part of eating on a princess ship is you can get room service right to where you are. They call it Ocean Now and you can go on the app and you can order food. Some of it's complimentary. Some of it has an extra charge, but they find you because you have a medallion that knows your location and that gets transmitted to the room service team and they can bring it right to your seat. So we're lounging, enjoying the view, got a little hungry, ordered a chicken sal sandwich and a salad, and up oh, here it comes, delivered about 30 or 40 minutes later. You don't even have to move. It's like lazy cruising to the extreme. Also in the app, you'll find another of my favorite features, which is crew chat. Now we all know those dreaded lines at guest services, and Princess has eliminated that for most things because you can go into the app 
click crew chat and send a message to a member of the guest services team. So for instance, we had a couple issues on our bill where we were charged for things that should have been included in our Princess Plus package and we just sent a message, they got to work on it and we checked back, it was all taken care of. Didn't have to leave, leave our lounge chair. Again, I'm really liking this lacy cruising where you can just kind of do everything through the app. Now, the app doesn't always work. It can be glitchy. We, we jokingly say it's always loading, loading, loading. But when it does work, it makes it so much easier to get room service right to where you are and to solve any issues you would have gone to guest services for. Also on the open deck, I love movie under the stars. I think Princess does this the best out of all the cruise lines. They bring out these special chaise lounger pads and they put them over the chairs and they're so comfy. You can get a blanket. They bring you popcorn. They have a wide mix of movies throughout the cruise. So depending on what kind of movies you like, there'll be one night. Well, there'll be a movie you'll probably enjoy. And I think it's just magical, especially they do it sometimes for Sunday night football. So I love cruising during football season and it's Sunday night and you're watching the football game. You did your ocean now to get your chicken wings and your tacos to your lounge chair. There's a full moon. It's just incredible. It's so much fun. So the last thing I love about Sailing on Princess is their mini suite cabins. I think these cabins are so well designed. So you have the sleeping area, which is the bed and the nightstands. You have a curtain that can close off the living room area that has a nice couch, a big desk area. You have your mini fridge, you have a TV. So there's two TVs in the room if you want to watch different things. And I love the design of the closet. So the closet is right next to the bathroom. So you have all of your clothes right there. You can get dressed very easily, a lot of storage space. So that's one of my favorite things. What are your favorite things about Sailing Princess? Have you sailed Princess before? I'd love to hear about it. And again, be sure to subscribe because the next few videos are going to talk more about the Regal Princess and just cruising in general. Have a great day.